All you need is love, love, love. Love is all you need. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is February 14, 2018. It is a day of love, friendship, caring, and kindness to everyone in our life, including parents, friends, classmates, teachers, and people that we love, and the world as well. So today I get to take you along with me to show you what I have planned for my students. It's not much, but it's a thought that counts, and I hope you enjoy it. So today I am wearing my love shirt from the Blue Envelope, which I love the Blue Envelope. I sort of started already a mini collection of all shirts from the Blue Envelope. So I'm a faithful customer and I love them. No, this is not sponsored. I just actually love their shirts. They're so soft, they're comfy, and I love the messages that they have in them, pun intended. So stick around and I'll see you soon. So these are the different things that I put together for the students. These are the Valentine card kits that were available at Target about a month ago. So I got the unicorn and the rainbow for the girls and the rocket and the alien for the boys. And you already saw my speed through video of me putting those together. And these are some that I got ideas from various different teachers on Instagram. And I just combined two of my favorite things that I saw, which are quick and easy to make. I just made these hearts really quickly on PowerPoint and I put both myself and my co-teacher on there. So all the students will get this. And these are the little treats that they'll get from both myself and my co-teacher this afternoon. The students also got a baggie with conversation hearts that I got at Dollar Tree. These have a little peel back, they're foam stickers, so they can stick right on the letter. So they just need to write a letter to someone. Could be their friend, their family member, their teacher, their favorite character in a book, their favorite anyone. And they're gonna write their friendly letter using their conversation hearts in between the letter. So these are some of the ones that the students started working on. They all got nine conversation hearts. There were eight different sayings in each bag and then they got a bonus heart from one of those sayings. And this is pretty much what the students are writing. And this is awesome. This person is writing it to her dog. I love it. And again, they're in art right now, the students. And as soon as they come back, which is in a few minutes, they'll get to finish their letters. So that's pretty much what the students are working on this morning. And these are pretty much the materials for that same activity, but for my afternoon class. So this is a template that I just made on PowerPoint and I printed it out. And again, these are the baggies. I got the baggies. There were 40 of them for a dollar, a dollar tree. And I put the nine different conversation hearts in each baggie. And that is a conversation heart friendly letter activity that the students are making today. It is now my lunch time, so I'm gonna quickly show you what I have for lunch today. And I have my homeroom now in the afternoon. I just got them right before lunch. I passed out all the materials for the Conversation Hearts friendly letter activity so that they can start on that and they're gonna finish that when we come back from lunch. Let me show you how my letter turned out, the one that I wrote for my son. Here's the letter I was able to write for my son using the Conversation Hearts. 
I really, really love it. I love how it came out. I can't wait to give it to him when I see him after school. And now for the afternoon, I'm gonna be making another one for my parents because today is their 42nd wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary, mom and dad. So for lunch today, I have some zucchini with romesco sauce and pepperoni. I know it looks like a weird meal, but I was sort of craving pizza and I really can't eat pizza because I'm allergic to dairy. And I'm also trying to watch my weight. So I decided to throw in some pepperoni in my zucchini noodles with my romesco sauce. This whole lunch is five points only because the romesco sauce, because of the olive oil, is three points. And then the pepperoni, I have two servings of pepperoni in here. And that's two points total for a total of five points for my lunch. I can't wait to dig in, so I'll see you later. And here are the materials that I will be using to put together my homeroom's Valentine's Day gift for myself and my co-teacher. So I'm just going to score these hearts with my Zacto knife and feed the pencils through, similar to how I did the 100th day gift for the students. So I'll probably put that in a speed through right now. So these are the final creations of the second batch of pencils that I am giving to my homeroom students this afternoon. And they came out amazing, so I can't wait to get them out. So it's the end of the day and the students have just passed out all their treats and they're eating some cupcakes. Look at this yummy cupcake made by a parent. Thank you, Alea's mom, for making all these awesome cupcakes. Yeah. Look how cute! All these treats. Oh, I see some Star Wars treats. Two treats! Of course. Nice. <laughs> Look at that cupcake. It's a cupcake close up. One of my friends gave me this little So adorable. And here's some, whoa, that's so many treats. Some people are putting them into categories. Waterfall. Thank you. Let's try that again. Waterfall. Thank you. We're a little too loud. I'm going around showing all of the amazing treats that you all got. Wow, so many Valentine goodies. What does everybody say? Thank you. And thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. So in addition to the letter I wrote earlier for my son, here is the letter I wrote for my parents, whose anniversary is today. I love you, Mom and Dad. So another thing that we did on this Valentine's Day is that I distributed all the Flora and Ulysses novels. And let me show you how they look at the end of each team. So this is the red team's basket and those are their copies of Flora and Ulysses. This is the orange team's basket and their copies of the book. Here's green team, here's blue team, and here's purple. So basically, Florian Ulysses is one of my favorite novels to read with my fourth graders every year. It goes over our superhero classroom decoration theme, and it's a really great story. I love how it changes perspective and goes from comic book to prose. So um, it's a really great story, and I'm looking forward to reading it with my students. So since tomorrow, the school is sending me to another training for reading and language arts, I needed to also leave substitute plans. So as part of my Valentine's Day, I also had to make sure I left sub plans. And the sub plans that I left, I left based on the novel floor and Ulysses so the students can read it on their own and reflect and complete some activities so that when I come back on Friday, we can discuss the chapters that they read and continue reading from there. Let me show you quickly what I put together for my sub plans for tomorrow. So here are my sub plans for tomorrow. And I, again, I leave very detailed subplans for the teacher who is covering for me tomorrow. And it goes through the entire day and repeats for my afternoon. And I put the dismissal procedures as well. And on the last page, the sub is able to leave a comment form and let me know which students followed rules or had troubles following rules. Then for tomorrow, I decided to use two of the plastic folders that I have. I do color code My Homeroom is Blue, because that's my favorite color. And my second group is green because that's my co-teacher's favorite color. So in here, I start by having the daily language arts warm up. Again, these are by one sub teacher shop. I leave it for them to complete because uh, my homeroom needs to do both Wednesday and Thursday. 
and my other group needs to just do Thursday. So this is the warm up that they'll have tomorrow, followed by them reading silently the first 34 chapters of Flora and Ulysses. And they are short chapters, so it's fine that the students have that much to read because they do have two hours. And this is most of the bulk of the assignment that I'm leading. So they have to read and use these annotation symbols. They choose one per every five chapters and write the annotation that goes with that symbol. Basically, they need to write one annotation for every five chapters and let me know their thinking as they read the novel. If they're done with that and they still have time, they are going to complete a comic strip summary that I also put together. I just created these two sheets right now as I was preparing the sub plans. So basically, they just have to create a comic strip showing the major events that happen in these 34 chapters. They need to include at least one or two pictures for every five chapters so that they can tell what happened as the story went on. So these are the assignments. So these are for my morning group in the blue folder. And my green group has the same information and assignments. So that's what I'm leaving. And let's see what happens on Friday when I return. So step plans are done. And I am so happy that I am ready for tomorrow. So it's now after school on Valentine's Day. Since it's Wednesday, the students get to go home at 1.50. And our grade level had to have a meeting also, a collaborative planning meeting. We just kind of finished the meeting a couple minutes ago. And we discussed a lot of different things pertaining to what we're gonna do next, uh, preparing for the FSA writing test, which is coming up in three weeks, and a couple of other things that were related to the instructional focus as we get ready for testing season and for the end of the year. So that was pretty good. I hope you enjoyed the different clips that I included of my students doing the Conversation Hearts Friendly Letter activity. They really had a lot of fun with that. I really like how they came up with their letters and they created them. Some of them wrote to actual classmates in the class. One of the students wrote it to me, so I'll show you in a moment that letter and um, what she wrote, which was beautiful. And I also received a few small gifts from a couple of students that I wanted to kind of show in the video. First of all, how cute is this? This is a little elephant in a cup and it has a little heart that says hugs and kisses. And the mug, I am so in love with this mug. It says love and it's a whole bunch of heart lollipops. So I absolutely love this and I love elephants along with pandas and mermaids and unicorns. Let's face it, I love a lot of cute stuff. These two bags I wanna show at the same time because they pretty much have the same thing. So I mentioned earlier in another video that I haven't posted yet, which is my Five Below Shop With Me, which should be coming out maybe later this week. But my favorite candy currently, because I'm allergic to anything with milk and eggs. So my favorite candy is the Haribo Sour Gummy Bears. And one of my students got me a bag with this bag inside. Yes, please. And I mentioned in my other video that I talked about the Haribo Gummy Bears that I love Haribo Sour Gummy Bears as much as Michelle Foray from Pocketful of Primary loves her Reese's Pieces. I really do. And this other bag has two bags of the Haribo Sour Gummy Bears. Yes, please. Love it. So those were my cute little gifts along with a whole bunch of other, you know, candy that I got and little notes that say thank you and appreciation. Oh, and a, a giant, wait, I'll bring it. One second. One more thing. So I got that one more thing and basically a student gave me this giant Hershey Kiss. Now, of course, I can't eat it because of my allergies, but my son can eat it, and so can people in my family. But I am so thankful. See, number one teacher, how cute! So I got this as well. So those were some of the little gifts that the students gave to me today for Valentine's Day, and thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I hope they enjoyed my little gifts too, which I also showed in the video. A lot of them really liked the pencil with the heart. I told them that if they sharpen the pencil, it, and if you put it you know, horizontally, it looks like an arrow. So I think that's really cute. Yes. Let me go ahead and show you the letter that my student wrote. So this is the letter that my student wrote to me today for Valentine's Day using the activity that I gave to them. And basically this is what the letter said. Dear Miss Sanchez, I love you so much. You are the best teacher I ever had and I thank you so much for always being there for us in all situations. You created more than one cool kid and I love you and admire you for that.
As you may know, today is Valentine's Day, and the love bug is going around and filling hearts with love and kindness. You deserve all the hugs and kisses of the earth. You've become my best friend. You're cute. Dimples, she put in parentheses. You will always be mine at heart. You're a sweetheart. I love you so much. Love, my dear student. So I thought that was so cute. I want to put it in a sheet protector and in a binder and just hold on to it. So whenever I'm having one of those frustrated days where I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so overwhelmed. I am so annoyed or frustrated. I can just open that binder and find this beautiful letter in there. So thank you, thank you so much, my dear student. All in all, it was a really good day. There was another activity that I wanted to do that I got from Mr. G uh, on Instagram. And he showed this printable from Scholastic that was a heart and you can flip it up and on the cover, before you flip it up, you can draw a cover or pictures related to your favorite book and when you flip it up, there are lines and the students write which book they love and I would love to do that. I mean, I wanted to do it today, but there just wasn't any time. I think I can still do it because that's something that is pertinent to anything, any time in the year. I mean, it would have been perfect for today because of the hearts. But I think that's something that I definitely want to do in the future for my students to just grab a heart and create that little flip kind of activity where they write about a book that they love and we can put it somewhere so that if anybody wants a book recommendation, they can just go to that particular bulletin board and flip through and see books that they might want to read based on the students' recommendations. So I think I will definitely be doing that sometime in the future. All right, so that's it for Valentine's Day 2018. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought was the coolest thing that happened today or if you really like some of the activities that I shared in the video. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you next time. Have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile.